Financial scandals have always captivated our collective imagination. The intricate webs of deceit, the soaring ambitions, and the devastating aftermath leave us both intrigued and bewildered. We're drawn to the stories that reveal the heights humanity can reach and the depths to which it can sink. Welcome to today's video, where we place the spotlight on one of the financial scandals that, although seeming unassuming, has served as the foundation for some of the world's biggest scandals today. So, go ahead and grab your favorite snack as we delve into the story of the scheme that inspired Charles Ponzi. The city is Montreal, Canada, in the early 1900s, a time when the world was on the brink of transformative change. The economy was buzzing, industries were booming, and dreams of prosperity were in the air. It was an era of innovation, dreams, and possibilities where anyone with a daring spirit could seize the moment. Enter Luigi Zorossi, head of Banco Zorossi, both names that would soon send ripples through the financial world. Luigi, with his charismatic demeanor and silver tongue, he possessed a magnetic charm that drew people in, making them believe in the power of his promises. Promises that were as captivating as they come. Banco Zorossi had a pretty interesting business model. They promised to pay 6% interest on bank deposits, double the going rate at the time. This was an irresistible investment opportunity, guaranteeing returns that seemed too good to be true. The allure of effortless wealth and financial security was enough to make even the most skeptical of us sit up and take notice. Investors, seduced by the vision of guaranteed returns and a life of luxury, flocked to Zerossi's door. They believed they had stumbled upon a golden ticket to financial prosperity. But little did they know, they were about to become part of a grand financial illusion. You see, Banco Zerossi promised the world, but it was all built on the foundation of lies and deceit. The allure of high returns masked a darker truth, one that would soon unravel, leaving devastation in its wake. In the meantime, success stories from early investors would have spread like wildfire, capturing the attention and igniting the hopes of countless others. You can imagine the whispers in cafes, the excitement at dinner tables, and the desire burning within each person who yearned for their own piece of the pie. The taste of success can be intoxicating. The promise of a brighter future, financial security, and the freedom to chase one's dreams. It's no wonder that Banco Zerossi had people lining up to join the ranks of those who had already tasted victory. But as you might have guessed, trouble was brewing beneath the promises of guaranteed returns. And speaking of returns, kindly hit the like button to help us beat the algorithm and keep us in the business of giving you premium financial entertainment. Back to our story. The whispers grew louder, and questions began to arise. How could a single entity consistently deliver such astronomical profits? Where were these vast sums of money truly coming from? The answer didn't take long to be revealed. The bank offered these exceptionally high interest rates to scam recent Italian immigrants to Canada. And because the bank's investments couldn't possibly earn enough to justify those rates, when Zerossi's older clients wanted their money back, he paid them with whatever money came in from his newer clients. The classic Ponzi scheme. Behind Zerossi's charm and the enticing promises lay a web of deception, carefully crafted to prey upon the dreams and desires of unsuspecting investors. And his plan was to carry on with the scheme for as long as it took him to amass a large enough stake to live the good life he wanted as a fugitive in Mexico. But how could so many investors fall for what was clearly a financial illusion? Do share your thoughts in the comments section. Comment greed if you think investors' pursuit of guaranteed money and easy money blinded them to reality. Comment naive if you feel investors were simply too trusting of Zerossi's promises. Neither response judges the victims. Both reveal truths about human nature. So share your perspective and let's reflect on how even rational people can fall for illusion when the allure of fortune seduces our desires. I'm eager to read your responses as we learn from Banco Zerossi's deception. The scheme was like a well-orchestrated symphony of deceit, with Luigi Zerossi conducting the strings and manipulating the figures to keep the illusion alive. The consequences of Banco Zerossi's collapse were felt far and wide as investors found themselves trapped in a web of financial ruin. 
The promises of guaranteed returns turned into bitter disappointment, leaving lives shattered and futures uncertain. Luigi Sarosi, the mastermind behind the scheme, would soon face the reckoning of his actions. Legal repercussions awaited him, as authorities sought to hold him accountable for the financial deception that had ensnared so many. The halls of justice echoed with the testimonies of those affected by Banco Zarossi. The wheels of the legal system turned, ensuring that those responsible for the grand deception faced the consequences of their actions. Zarossi's once charismatic facade crumbled, revealing a man whose greed had brought about his own downfall. But you see, the story doesn't end there. The legacy of Banco Zarossi goes far beyond its own collapse. It planted an evil seed of inspiration in the mind of a man who would go on to create one of the most notorious fraudulent investment operations in history. Enter Charles Ponzi, a name forever associated with financial deceit. Intrigued by the audacity and impact of Banco Zarossi, Ponzi drew inspiration from Luigi Zarossi's scheme refining it and creating his own infamous scheme that would shake the world so much that the scheme would be named after him. Ponzi borrowed key elements from Zerossi's scheme, adapting and refining them to create his own fraudulent investment operation, forever etching his name in the big black book of financial history. Ponzi's scheme, now referred to as a, quote, Ponzi scheme, mirrored the allure and deception of Banco Zerossi. It propagated a cycle of attracting new investors to pay off the returns promised to earlier ones, leading to a house of cards destined to collapse under its own weight. The influence of Banco Zerossi on Ponzi's scheme cannot be ignored. It serves as a stark reminder of how one act of deception can spawn a chain reaction, forever altering the financial landscape and leaving an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. The legacy of both Banco Zerossi and Ponzi's scheme is one of caution and lessons learned. It reminds us to remain vigilant, to question the too-good-to-be-true promises, and to demand transparency in the world of finance. But let us not forget that in the midst of these financial scandals, there is a deeper exploration of human behavior. The allure of high returns and the tantalizing prospect of a life of luxury drew in countless individuals willing to take risks in pursuit of their dreams. It's through these financial scandals that we are reminded of our own vulnerability the fragility of trust, and the consequences that await those who stray from the path of integrity. They provide us with invaluable life lessons, urging us to question, to investigate, and to be cautious in our own pursuit of wealth. If you are considering investing in any scheme, it is important to do your research and to be wary of any investment that promises high returns with little or no risk. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I'd like to know your thoughts as well. So, drop a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep being amazing.